the Chow Chow Chow's Juice Beat James here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we made it right here to the foot of Mount Moon. And today we are going to go through Mount Moon and meet up with some very familiar faces, hopefully. As you can see, the Meowth there. Still haven't got my counter for here yet, so it'll be interesting to see what we get. But I also want to. Do I have repels? I do not have repels. I'm going to have to avoid Pokemon battles like the plague. Hmm. Looks like there's nothing here. Then we'll have to search a little further in. You! You were eavesdropping on us just uh, just then, weren't you? Meowth. You were supposed to be keeping watch. Meowth! We know there's some rare fossils buried around here somewhere. If you've got it, anything better to do, you better you better hand them over, twerp. That's right. If anything's go if anyone's gonna profit off these rare fossils, it'll be us, Team Rocket. <laughs> it's not the same if you don't do the motto. Right, I'm gonna have to avoid battles like the plague, so I don't get, uh, so I get, uh, so I don't get the wrong encounters. Because if I get the wrong encounters, that's not good. So I'll leave a few trainer battles behind, because I could probably do with them. Once I get my encounter for here, I'll be okay. But like, I want to get my encounter for here first, and then I can figure out what I want to do. You can take this on, right, Jenny? Use bite. So I'm looking... Uh, what I want here is... Clef I would like Clefairy? Yeah, Clefairy. Or Clefable would be nice, too. But if I can get Clefable... I mean, I think there's a 1% chance you can get Clefable in this game with a law. Nice flinch. And beautiful kills. Awesome. Good work, Jenny. But it's not... It's a bottom floor, but it's not this one. Ugh! You're pretty fast, kid. Ah, just a good battle, though. That's all it is. Thank you for cutscene. Thank you, cutscene. Because otherwise I would have ran into that Zubat. Yikes. Quit following us. Okay, thank you, cutscene, for stopping me from getting into a battle there. Because otherwise I would have been in trouble. Like, I'm probably not going to navigate this cave in under five minutes if, I, uh, if this keeps up. Because this, it's actually rather easy to navigate this cave. But the fact is, you've got to keep on running into battles. Which I don't want to do. If... Oh, great. I ain't gone. Okay, that's better. My capture card was skipping. Sometimes it does that, I don't know why. So 
sometimes it's using like too much of the CPU to actually record all this. Which is annoying, but, you know, <laughs> it's the only way I can get hold of this ca of this, this, uh, this, cap this footage because I don't have a Wii U capture card. And yes, they do exist. Uh, not, not Wii U, I mean, like, Switch capture cards. And yes, they do exist for handheld mode, which would actually be really cool to get hold of, but, like, they're quite expensive. I know, I know, Eevee. I know there's an item. Oh, damn it! I ran into a Geodude! No! That's my encounter. Damn it! That's my encounter. That's my encounter. One, two, three. No. One, two, three. Great. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, Geodude's my encounter. It's annoying, but I'll take it. I was so close to getting to where I needed to go to put up the law to get to where uh, to get to where I needed to be, ladies and gentlemen. I was so close. If I'd got down down those stairs, if I'd only got down those stairs, I could have had I could have had my Clefable. I mean, I guess that sort of helps out for Rock Tunnel later on. If I catch a Geodude now, it sort of helps out for Rock Tunnel later on. And Geodude's not a bad Pokemon. So let's take a look at this Geodude that I've caught. I mean, I'm okay with it. I'll take it, but I would have much more preferred a Clefable. Okay, so it's a level 6 Geodude, which is kind of bad. Dorsal nature, which is also bad. Because that doesn't boost any stats, but doesn't take any stats away either. There's its stats there. And there's tackle, defense, curl, sand attack, and bite. This is probably a really bad Geodude, this means. But I don't get a choice in the matter of what Pokemon I catch. I can try and avoid pa I can try and avoid Pokemon like the plague, but you know if they run into me, I can't stop that. It's the whole point of having a control wheel instead of having a D-pad. If you had, a, if I had a D-pad, I probably could stop that because I probably could control where I'm like going. But on a D-pad, you can't control. Uh, on a on a control stick, you can't control where you're going, really. But it's okay. I'm okay with getting a Geo Dude. I can work with it. Hopefully. The fossils? No, fossil camp for Cinnabar Island, so I should be okay. I'm kind of weak to Psychic means so that's my annoying thing here I'm kind of weak to psychic which means that Misty's got uh, Misty's gonna be hard come on Jenny you can do this there we go Jenny And you have another Geodude. Let's switch out. Spitfire, go! By the way, guys, if you have a Switch, I might need your help with some trade evolutions. 
it's nothing to worry about now, but since we do now have a Pokemon that uh, does evolve via a trade evolution, I would kind of, if we get up to a point where I need to evolve it, I would prefer if you guys could help me out with that. So if you have a Switch of your own, let me know in the comment section down below. Oh, and that you, yeah, so if you have a Switch of your own and are willing to trade with me, to uh, get Pokemon, I will be doing that in the new year because I actually haven't got Switch Online yet. And uh, the annoying thing is, in order to activate trades in this game, you actually do need Switch Online. It is really annoying that you actually uh, that trading is locked away under the twenty pound price barrier, but it is. It's locked away. You can't trade unless you have a Switch Online, and you can't get switch online unless you pay 20 quid so switch uh, so i haven't bought switch online yet for my games because again i only have pokemon let's go but in 2019 i plan on getting a lot more games for this switch i plan on getting things like uh um mario kart 8 deluxe a mario odyssey would be nice um Breath of the Wild would be amazing to have on here. These are just for my own personal playthroughs. I might, like, in the new year, I might street, you know, do some, like, stream, streaming of Mario Kart 8 because Mario Kart 8 is awesome. But Odyssey and uh, Breath of the Wild are my own kind of personal things. Although I could do a playthrough of uh, Breath of the Wild on Switch. Uh, on, I mean, on Twitch sometime. If you guys would be up for it, we could stream. Uh, we could stream Breath of the Wild. Because in 2019, I I want to stream more. I want to get back into streaming. But I feel like what I want to do with streams uh, might be to to uh, have non-Pokemon battles. Because, uh, to have like some Pokemon streams and then to have some non-Pokemon streams as well. Because JSPH Games 2, as much as I love doing that, ch having that channel and being able to have the abilities to play whatever I want to play. I can't, I don't get the... Uh, it doesn't get the viewership I like. And I know, that I, I know that I keep on saying I don't really care about viewers and stuff like that. But sometimes it does... You know... It does, like, sort of matter to me. It's not... It's not... It's not like I'm completely ignorant to views. I know, uh, I know views and subs actually like matter on YouTube and stuff like that. And I would, I would like to keep uh, my channels going, and I would like to uh, keep you guys around because, like, right now, oh, we're in a sort of situation where, like, YouTube could be changing in the next few months, and uh, YouTube's already gone through some huge like huge changes and honestly I've been doing five I've been doing YouTube for five years now so honestly I'd like to see more results than I get for example my next series I already have it planned out I already have the layouts made I'm making I'm gonna be making the intro in the next couple of weeks and I would like to say that it should be out in I would like to say it should be out in February? Maybe March at the latest? But I don't know how long this is going to take because, you know, Kanto, short game. And I want it to be um, a series that we've done sort of not bef it's a sort of, it's a, it's a place we've been to before but we haven't been to this game yet. So, I want to play Vault White too. We've played Vault White. Uh, we, so, we've been to the Unova region before. We've played Vault White. I've enjoyed playing Vault White. And if you uh, have seen my Vault White Egglock series, um, you know, you understand what I'm going... Uh, you do understand that that is going to be the next series. If you haven't seen my Vault White Egglock, I do suggest you go and see it. It is... Uh, I will link it in the description. It is a great series and probably one of the most deadliest runs I've played because it does 
uh, outside of Ultra Moon, it does hold the kill. It does hold the kill record. So you know, it is one of those games that is like really hard. But I enjoyed it, and I'd love to play it. Uh, I'd love to continue uh, to continue that series, and especially since you know last year, Fire Red Omega, we actually won a Dreyanu ROM hack in an egglock form. So I would like to keep. I would possibly like to see if I can turn it into a streak and then beat the next Dreyanu ROM hack game, which is well, uh, Bla Volt White Blaze Black Two Volt White Two. So that's what I'd like to do. But the fact is, I want to do it in an egglock again because I like egglocks, and egglocks is a perfect way to sh to interact with your comment section. And to basically, uh, because in an egglock, your comment section, well, your viewers send you eggs to use in the series. That's how it works. Now, usually I do beg, borrow, and possibly steal from other YouTubers uh, who give me permission to use their eggs. I do actually ask them. Unless it's like nappy and stuff like that, I, then I don't ask because the fact is he would never listen to me. Even if I tried to tweet at him and say, "Hey, can I borrow like a box of your eggs from an e from a series you did years ago?" You know, I mean, he's not going to care, and it's not like the uh, owners of those eggs are going to care either. They like, they just want their Pokemon that they made to be used. So that's why I do it because like it's not like they hold, it's not like they hold a copyright on those eggs you know it's not like they're gonna say like and they're gonna come into my comment section and say i wanted nappy to use this tyrannus i wanted nappy to use this larvae tar and now that you're using this Navi tar i pr uh, like i'm going to uh, mass dislike your channel because you're using a mon that i wanted nappy to use and only nappy is allowed to use this mon You know, that's never going to be a thing, is it, guys? Come on, seriously. Would that be a thing? Would seriously someone get that naughty that uh, Nappy is... Uh, that Nappy... I mean, Nappy probably used that Pokemon. And the fact is... Like, in Eggblocks, thousands of people send over... Uh, things like Larvitar and stuff like that. Thousands of people send over good mons all the time in Eggblocks. And if Nappy has, let's say, there's 18 boxes in a standard game of Pokemon, which the roughly roundabout is, yeah, and each box contains 30 Pokemon, how many of those eggs do you think Nappy actually uses throughout a series? And how many just just get hatched and then stored for dupes claws? Because Nappy just uh, Nappy does count dupes claws uh, from an egg lock. So it, you know, Nappy and all the other big pine poker tubers. See, there's a Clefa there's a Clefairy. And if I put a lore up, I could find that 1% Clefable. Yeah, because that's a, uh, it's a 1% encounter chance encounter. Anyway. So, like, there must be, like... Throughout an entire series, Nappy uses, like, I don't know, probably, like, I'd probably say, like, 10% of the eggs he gets sent through Egg and Lock. I probably would go down that line, so if you, like, a YouTuber uses 10% of the eggs that are sent out for Egg Locks if they have full boxes. Me, on the other hand, I use about 50 to 100% of the eggs used. Uh, because the fact is, I'm a smaller PokerTuber. If I get sent eggs for Egglocks, you can guarantee they're going to get used. Because the fact is, basically, well, I barely have enough to even fill a box. So you can guarantee they'll get used because I barely, uh, because of that one reason, I barely have enough to fill a box on my own. Which sort of would mean if I was a, uh, would sort of mean in some people will say that I shouldn't do egg locks because the fact is, I don't have enough support to warrant an egg lock. But I don't see it that way. I 
I see Egglocks as a great way to interact with channel, uh, with uh, comment sections, and a great way to interact with your subscribers. So that's why I like doing them, and I really enjoy this series, because I feel like it's you guys who are uh, helping me complete the series. And that's what I want to feel. Like, it's you guys that are helping me, not, you know, not that I'm getting good, it's that you guys are helping me. It's your, it's your support that is getting me through these series. These. And how maybe if uh, the person, maybe if I'm using like a Pokemon that's sent to Nappy or sent to Hudlum Scrafty or sent to Game Boy Luke, if I'm using one of their Pokemon that was sent to them once and was used during one of their series, Maybe their subscribers will find out that I'm using their eggs and will find out, hey, this guy's a good content. This guy produces good content and, you know, he's the most underrated PokerTuber in the world because technically I am the most underrated PokerTuber in the world. Hmm, are those dark colored things? Are those dark colored things fossils? All right, Meowth, get those fossils. You scratch. Meowth? So, you know, I am one of the most underrated PokerTubers in the world, and that's why I feel like, you know, they might come across my channel, say, hey, he's using my eggs, and not, like, hey, he's using my eggs, stop him. Like, hey, he's using my eggs, and he produces good content. You know, let's watch. And enjoy. That's what I'd like to think, but we'll, honest, we'll have to see. Because that's the next series, and that is going to come up in February and stuff like that. That will be the next main series on the channel. There will be side series starting uh, very, very soon, actually. In fact, I will be sending out the uh, the send me eggs video for that uh, for that uh, for that egg lock in the next uh, like on New Year's Day. I will be putting out the uh, I will be putting out the egg lock the send me eggs video on New Year's Day. And I will give you possibly like two months to send me eggs before the series starts. If we say the series starts in March. So you'll have literally around about two months to send me eggs before the series starts. And then there'll be other opportunities. You can send me eggs, I probably would say, throughout the entire series. And they're guaranteed to possibly be hatched and used in the series. These... But if you want to uh, make sure they're hatched, send them in early. So I'd probably say send them in to me before the like the fifth gym in the series. If you could send them in to me before I face Clay, that would guarantee them being used in the series. That would almost guarantee the fact that those mons would be used because the fact is you sent them in before Clay. So... That would probably be the best idea if you want to make sure your eggs get used would be to send them in before clay because the fact is if if vault white 2 is as bad as vault white then we could be in for some serious i could be in for a huge like i could be, have a lot on my hands for this series so i could really do with the help that you guys can send Honestly, I could really do with that help. Oh yeah, that's a thing too. It's incredibly rare in here, but you will find Chansey. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. So that is coming up, uh, so the egg lock will be coming up, I'll be sending out the send me eggs video on New Year's Day. And also on New Year's Day we'll start my secondary side series which is going to place a trial run for the moment in time, which is going to be my Pokemon, uh, which is going to be a series I have permission to use from my great friend the Chip Tried, 
Link in description. Uh, link in the description below. I will put his link there too. And Chips has been absolutely amazing. He's a good friend of mine, and so when I really felt like, honestly, if he could be the next Hardy Takeoyo. And uh, Hardy's one of the big inspirations for my channel, so that's why I honestly believe that he, uh, that uh, Chips could be that next guy. He's he's a, he's funny. He's really good at what he does. His GFX are are really good for uh, for someone who's only been doing YouTube for like a couple years. Like his GFX are amazing, honestly. So yeah. He's a really good guy, and he deserves a hell of a lot more than he gets. Link, go. If there's anyone I would go and say subscribe to, it's Chips. Chips is amazing. I love Chips. He's really good at what he does, and he also features Lacey in his in his uh, fakey in fakey mon as well. So he's a really cool guy. I am going to silence that entire thing. I'm still suffering from my cold, and I actually don't have a drink with me right now. And I always should have a drink with me when I start recording. But I don't have a drink with me at this moment in time, so I'm coughing like hell. Oh, Spitfire goes to level 14. Yay! Jenny goes to level 14. Yay! I need one more Pokemon to gain one more level, then I can access Misty's gym. I'm not going to access Misty's gym, but the recommended, uh, well, the gym entry requirement is to have one Pokemon at level 15. That is the entry requirement for Misty's gym. Uh, what do I do here? I need to heal. I'd also like to have Jenny out right now. So I'm going to have to use two of my potions. And I'm only allowed to use three. I can probably bring Jenny out. There we go. There's Jenny. Your tackle does nothing. Good. Keep on double kicking and it should be okay. Phew! I avoided the supersonic. Supersonic's annoying and I don't really want to deal with confusion today. There we go. Good work. Good work, Jenny. We each take a fossil, but no being greedy, right? I will take the dome. Because so I, so I worship the dome. I am not Lord Helix. I worship the dome. Stop right there. Hands off! Those fossils belong to us! Ah, how dare you get ahead of us. We're Team Rocket. I'm Jesse. And I'm James. And the two of us are going to take for our fo 
the fossil plaque. All right. To protect the world from devastation, but to protect the world from devastation, to unite all peoples within our nation, to denounce the evils of truth and love, to extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse! James. Team Rocket, blast off at the speed of light. Surrender now, prepare to fight. Me, Alf, that's right. Yay, I get to do the Team Rocket motto. Um, You should get out of here, Spitfire. Spirit, go. Nice crit. Alright. Bite. The coughing. And then you. I know that you're a uh, an adamant natured thing, but I would prefer if you like gust the coughing. Because special attack does more. Damn it, didn't flinch this time. Can you bite? Ignore my phone. I mean, my mum shouldn't be using her phone. She's supposed to be at a funeral today, so... I know that's that's what it is. It's my mum. She wants to go to town later, but, you know, she should be at, she's at a funeral right now. You know, she shouldn't be using her phone. Right, one more combination of bite and quick attack, and we should have this coughing out of here. There we go, coughing down. All right. Geodude goes to level nine, good. Okay, so Geodude wants to learn rock from. Okay. Well. That's the move we get rid of right now. Thank you, dear dude. I do not want to learn... Uh, I do not want Bite on my moveset. And then now... Uh, you could do with a potion there, uh, Spirit. So I'm going to give you one. I'm going to use one of my free healing items per battle on this, uh, this turn. There we go. Him and then quick attack. And we can continue battling the uh, the Ekans. Or more oh the bite should kill. The bite should kill this turn. That quick attack did so much damage, the bite should kill. Nice! Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again!
And we are done with Mount Moon. Yay! I got five Pokeballs. That's usually where I get, you get Mega Punch and Mega Kick from. And a repel. go okay so this is a new encounter here and this is one of the few routes you can get Charmander on if I remember correctly I mean, it's good level. Wait. Now. Nice! One. Two. Three. Oh, come on, Ekins. Wait. Nice! One, two, three. Come on, Atkins, get in the ball. Great. Under that eventuality, it means that I'm not allowed to catch any Pokemon on... Uh, I'm not allowed to have an encounter on this route, that means. Route 4 is instantly disqualified for me. Uh, and any Pokemon I do catch on Route 4 can be used for grinding. I mean, in order to get my other Pokemon up to levels. But I do have to... Uh, send every Pokemon that I catch on Route 4 back to the Professor. That's how that, uh, that's how uh, f uh, fleeing encounters work. So I'm going to leave it off this episode here. In the next episode, I I think we'll go up to Nugget Bridge. Yeah, in the next episode, we'll go up to Nugget Bridge. I need to get some more encounters. I need to get some more grinding done. It'll be a while before I face uh, Misty. But that's okay. 
that is the plan. In the next episode, we'll go and take on Nugget Bridge. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. In the next episode, we will go up to Nugget Bridge, and I will see you for that episode. But until next time, I am JSPH Games. Mean de la Pokemon, get a Lazar. Everybody get Pokemon. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Also, follow me on Twitter at JoesPHGames, where you'll find out when I upload next. Also, if you want to see some more videos, there should be some in the top right and top left hand corner of this end card. So, until next time, I'm JoesPHGames, and I am out. See you again.